Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got some big news to go over for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. A new Pokemon is going to be revealed very, very soon, probably going to be this week. We're going to be talking about all of that today. We also have some new Pokemon home news and as well as that, a few other bits and bobs to go over as well that was revealed last week. Plenty of stuff to talk about today, so if you're excited for the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Leave a comment, what are your thoughts on what this new potential Pokemon is going to be? Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon. Pokemon content. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, the new Pokemon reveal that is probably going to be this week. Pokemon have just tweeted out saying, Hey trainers, we've managed to obtain these photos of some strange markings taken by a photographer from Paldea. They seem to be getting a lot of attention from the region's citizens. Any guesses what they could mean? So more Pokemon information is going to be revealed very, very soon. And we're kind of used to seeing these sort of things um, from previous years. They obviously did it with Pokemon Legends Arceus, Hisuian Zoroark, and Hisuian Zoroark. They revealed that kind of um, footage that was all like blurry and stuff. And then obviously the Pokemon were revealed. We also had it with a Hisuian Voltorb as well on the website. All the Pokeballs kind of fell. Some of them exploded. Uh, we had it obviously with um, Surfetched in Pokemon Sword and Shield. It was kind of a weird flipped image of it on the Pokemon website. Uh, we also had it with Galarian Ponytar as well in the Glimwood Tangle livestream. We're used to seeing these sort of things. It's a cool way to kind of reveal new Pokemon. And as well as that, we literally just got information at Worlds last weekend. Um, and then before that, we literally got a new trailer at the start of the month. So this is going to be another Pokemon revealed um, in the space of like a few weeks. And it might even be more than one. They could even reveal like an evolution line or something. But either way, these are the photographer's images that were revealed. Um, so as you can see, they're like circular kind of um, colors and patterns and stuff. Um, we obviously have an orange kind of circular pattern here on this rock. Um, this one here seems to be some sort of like, I don't know, this is either like a a circle kind of pattern or it could be like a target as well like you have yellow in the middle and then like blue uh pinkish purple uh this tree has blue yellow and purple as well and then this color here is red yellow blue so i don't think there's really any significant colors that kind of pop up more than any others um they're all just kind of like random colors random shapes as well there's a few circles but then these are also lines as well um so what this will be is just a new pokemon and it'll probably get revealed on like thursday or wednesday or something like that they'll drop a small trailer for it i have no kind of idea what pokemon it could potentially be like i've even obviously i'm not going to go over like leaks and stuff but even thinking of the pokemon that were leaked like i have no idea what this could uh, be i don't think it's going to be the stars or anything like that it is literally just going to be them revealing a brand new pokemon Probably could be some sort of new um, Smeargle form or something, maybe. Um, that hasn't been leaked or anything. That's just something that kind of relates to colors and patterns and stuff. Because obviously Smeargle is like the artistic Pokemon. Um, but apart from that, like, I have no idea. It's obviously some sort of like colorful Pokemon. Um, it might be a new form. It could just be a brand new Pokemon. Um, we really don't know. But either way, we're going to get a Pokemon reveal at some point this week. I mean, it's probably a Pokemon anyway. I don't know what else it could really be. This is what they do. They always reveal Pokemon like this now. Every now and again. I think it was actually in August. Um, a couple of years ago. They did it for... Um, a couple of Pokemon. It seems to be like August, September-ish time is when they drop new Pokemon like this. But either way, time to get excited because there's going to be a new Pokemon reveal very, very soon. I don't know if they're going to let us know what day it's going to drop or they're just going to shadow drop it like they did today. My guess is they're just going to shadow drop it. But let me know your thoughts and feelings about this. What do you think it could potentially be? It's in like a foresty setting as well. Um, so maybe it's a Pokemon exclusive to like a forest so, like sort of section of Paldea. Um, but either way, a new Pokemon reveal has clearly got something to do with colors, potentially got something to do with patterns as well. Um, I don't think it's going to be like a legendary or anything like that. Um, I, I generally just think it's going to be like a random Pokemon that is going to be in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But either way, time to get excited because another new Pokemon is about to get revealed for Pokemon uh, Scarlet and Violet. But yeah, let me know in the comments what do you think it is. Um, give me your ideas, give me your thoughts and stuff. Excited to see what this Pokemon is. Uh, next up, we have a Pokemon Home update as well. Uh, this was posted on Nintendo Everything. Pokemon Home update out now on mobile version 2.0.2 patch notes. Um, so these are all the patch notes for the latest Pokemon Home update. So a new update has gone out for Pokemon Home, though it is currently only being offered on mobile. Users now have the ability to delete their account. A few other issues have also been addressed. The full patch notes of the Pokemon Home update are as follows. So added the ability for users to delete their accounts. Addressed an issue in which the location where a Pokemon was first met wouldn't be displayed under certain circumstances. Addressed an issue in which your search criteria would sometimes not be reflected when searching for specific Pokemon on the GTS. And then other issues have also 
also been addressed in order to ensure a user-friendly experience. And then, yeah, this is just for mobile at the moment, but a couple of updates there. I didn't realize you couldn't delete your Pokemon Home account before. I don't really know why you'd want to, um, but either way, you can now delete your Pokemon Home account on mobile. Um, so that's that. Uh, another thing that I want to kind of go over is all of the latest kind of information about Pokemon Scarlet, Violet, Legends, Arceus and stuff. Um, they kind of cropped up last week. Obviously, I've been away last week, so this all kind of came live um, whilst I've been away and stuff. Um, there's plenty of stuff to catch up on for me today um, and, and for the next few videos and stuff. But either way, uh, we spoke about it previously. We knew this was happening, the CEDEC 2022 conference. They um, they spoke about it a while ago that it was going to happen, and obviously it happened last week. So this was tweeted out by Poke Experto. So during the CEDEC 2022 conference, Game Freak explained that the change to development in the cloud Amazon has greatly accelerated the development of new Pokemon games before everything was done locally. For this reason, they all have been able to they have been able to develop Legends and Scarlet Violet in parallel. So this is really good news because it basically means that the way they're developing games now, they can actually create these big games a lot easier. Because Legends Arceus was quite a big game. Um, obviously, they outsourced uh, BDSP to Ilka, so they weren't working on that. But of course, they were working on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet whilst they were doing it on Legends, uh, Legends Arceus. So just the fact that now they're about to, like, they, can, they, they can produce these like really good games um, a lot easier. So that's obviously really good news to hear because it means that we might be seeing these big games a lot more frequently. And it might be not necessarily the norm that we see like a game in like January and stuff like that. But it could be a little bit more likely. Like they might release Pokemon Let's Go Johto with like gen 5 remakes or something and like let's go johto could be january and then like you know unova remakes could be like um november or something like that it might allow them to do things like that which obviously i'm really happy for because i don't want let's go johto to be like the main pokemon game i don't think it's gonna be like up to the standards that we're kind of used to now with legends arceus scarlet violet stuff like that um, but either way really cool information to find all that out uh we also have this as well just some official wallpaper um for sprigatito fue coco and quaxley um just some, yeah cool uh, artwork there um, and, and it's just a little wallpaper uh, we have some more information about the conference that I don't even know how this got into the video by the way I think I must have accidentally clicked on it or something anyway back to the CEDEC presentation so Game Freak have explained quite a few details of the development of Pokemon models for their games uh, for example the movement animations of Pokemon with similar bodies are reused in different species of Pokemon um, so as you can see here like Machop and Lucario are quite similar in like body shapes and stuff so they would reuse those kind of like models which is fine because it makes life easier for them and it allows them to um i guess put more pokemon in the game and stuff because if it's easier to do all the models and stuff for certain pokemon like they don't have to waste more time doing the models so i'm all for it because it allows like more extra pokemon in the game um dragonite and charizard another two pokemon whose bodies are quite similar camerupt and solgaleo are not two pokemon that i thought would be <laughs> similar but fair play, I mean, that was the example used. So, you know, what am I to say about that? Um, we also have this information as well. Uh, this is just from Pokemon Center. Just, you know, Game Freak confirms that with the new Pokemon model system they have developed, they aim to continue creating games with different art styles, but using the same models as a base, something that was previously not possible. So, yeah, this kind of just tells us that, you know, we are going to see more games like Legends Arceus potentially with that different kind of art style to what we're used to in like Sword and Shield and like, Scarlet and Violet because obviously there are clearly different kind of games like Legends Arceus looks different to Scarlet and Violet but they both look unique in their own way um, but yeah quite like the idea that you know because of all this new like cloud system and everything that they're hopefully going to be able to develop a lot more games a lot more frequently um, but like we're still higher kind of standards and stuff like that. Uh, this is also uh, Game Freak reveals that they have started using motion capture uh, for 3D model animations as well. Um, so yeah, for Pokemon, I guess they're a little bit more humanoid and stuff like your Machops, your Lucario, stuff like that. They can actually start using this. I mean, they're not going to I guess they're not going to use motion capture for like a Charizard because that would be a little bit harder or like a Venusaur. Maybe, maybe they will, who knows? Um, but obviously Pokemon that are already humanoid, it's going to be a lot easier to kind of edit those with motion capture and stuff uh, for 3D models. But yeah, more information there about Scarlet and Violet. Also, I don't know if this kind of confirms the Machop line to be in Scarlet and Violet because that was the example that was used. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe they're just using random Pokemon. Maybe this was for... Um, uh, let's uh, Legends Arceus because obviously all these Pokemon were in Legends Arceus barring Charizard and Solgaleo and I actually don't think Camera was as well so I don't know maybe they're just using random Pokemon or this confirms these Pokemon are going to be back in Scarlet and Violet stuff who knows either way we also have Loot 2 as well kind of uh, breaking down all this stuff as well so um, 
obviously hosted. Game Freak, full English translation of the presentation will come later. Mostly just setting the story for how Pokemon assets were developed throughout the series, up until Legends Arceus. So confirmation that Pokemon Legends Arceus began development in fall of 2018, um, with Scarlet and Violet starting around the Generation 8 was finishing up. So yeah, Scarlet and Violet started um, when Generation 8 was finishing up, which is kind of crazy. It means both games had three years of development. Um, lots of specifications regarding the way Pokemon models are designed. The user interface is identical to the ones found in the leaked Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee prototypes. As well as that, uh, Meizawa is going over how Pokemon models are stored uh, for a consistent use and are then tailored to each new game, with these examples being from Legends Arceus. Effects pipeline talk. From what I can gather, uh, this is effectively talking about how effects such as shader, FX, lighting, etc. are applied for more efficiency uh, efficiently with this new pipeline. So again, just kind of showing examples of what it looks like when they're modeling it, how it looks in games and stuff like that. Um, you've got like Pikachu there, and then you've got the, the stars in Legends Arceus, and then you've got the stars in Scarlet and Violet, stuff like that. Uh, we also have this to go over as well. Game Freak has heard your complaints about those ridiculous rotation animations in Sword and Shield, which again, we weren't a massive fan of, where the whole body like just turned was really really annoying uh, but they seem to have actually made them proper animations now so instead of looks Ray's full body just kind of changing like a clockwork it actually like bends its like head and stuff and bodies which we kind of saw in legends arceus as well um but it, yeah it's cool that they're, they're kind of carrying that on because it just makes the game look nicer it makes following pokemon animations look nicer big fan of it um so yeah really really happy to, uh, about that and then finishing the things off as well obviously we've already been over this but yeah just you know both games were around three years in development and stuff like that which is you know a decent amount of time for a pokemon game but either way that is going to be everything for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please do consider hitting the like button down below. It's trying to 500 likes. Leave a comment. What do you think this mysterious Pokemon is? I think it's going to get revealed this week, 100%. I think it could be Wednesday, Thursday, potentially Friday. We might get something more about it tomorrow. Um, and then we might just obviously get the reveal of it on Wednesday or Thursday. Because with Hisui and Zoro and Zoro, that's what they did. They kind of kind of gave us the tape. And then like the day after or a couple of days after, it was like a little bit less fuzzy or something. And we got a little bit more information about it. And then, like, the day it got revealed, it obviously showed the whole gameplay clip and stuff. But either way, excited for it. We'll have to see what it is. Let me know your thoughts on it. But, yeah, if you enjoyed, drop a like. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell. We'll keep you up to date with everything we get about this new Pokemon. Subscribe if you're brand new, though. Ring the notification bell. It's everything from me. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.